These movies teach you what it means to be an entrepreneur and build something. These movies teach you how to be a visionary and change the world. These movies tell you how to build a sales organization, exactly what it takes in order to win in business. These movies will teach you how to actually scale something special. Think about the world differently. This movie will teach you all the things not to be as an entrepreneur. Look, these movies can help you draw inspiration and perspective. They can teach you about leadership. They can teach you about what it means to be a visionary. They can teach you about how to build a sales organization and the right ways and the wrong ways to create culture. And in this video, we're gonna go over every single one of these movies and the lessons that I learned as a $100 million CEO. Okay, the first movie I'm gonna go over is Will Smith in The Pursuit of Happiness. What I love about this movie is it shows you the amount of determination and grit required to actually build something special. And this guy with his son lived in a, in a bathroom stall and showed up to work every single day, pounding the phone, cold calling, which is a really hard thing. I actually got a chance to meet the person that this movie is based on at a conference. And both of these, by the way, are inspirational stories that are based on real entrepreneurs, people who've built something. Jerry Maguire in this, this is a famous line. He's like, okay, who's with me? And he grabs, you know, he's talking to everybody in the company and who wants to come build something special? And the funny thing is like, it was crickets, like nobody in the entire company who he thought he was friends with and comrades and was building something special. Nobody actually wanted to follow him except for the secretary, one person. And so he famously takes the fish and says, I'm taking the fish. And eventually builds something really special. The, the best line in this entire thing is, Jerry, show me the money. It's a really great movie and a good inspirational piece, especially if you wanna know what it feels like. Both of these movies are for business people who are wanna know what it feels like to start something and build something. It's very lonely, hard, but with the right determination, hard work, grit, you can do something special here. The next one, Jobs. I love Steve Jobs. He's changed the world. I'm an iPhone guy, I have a Mac. So this guy really made you know the world different. Now, the thing to learn about this guy, although he was, he was a savant and he changed the world and he had really high standards, he was also very flawed as a human. Cancer killed him. Like he got killed by cancer, a curable thing that was very easy to actually prevent. And he could still be with us today, meaning he could still be changing the world, running Apple and blah, blah, blah. But something about his genius threw him off his track. And so this is a great movie to just watch and see what genius looks like. And also a cautionary story about what you shouldn't do as an entrepreneur and as a visionary. The next movie is Aviator. It portrays Howard Hughes in his relentless pursuit to actually build an airplane. And what I love about this movie is it shows what it takes to be a visionary and hyper focus on the, every single little detail inside of your project or business or whatever you're trying to change the world. It actually drove him mad. And I think it's a good cautionary story about what not to do, but also what has to happen in order to change the world. So great movie, check it out. Next, we're gonna go to Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. This is a masterclass on sales. The famous line is coffee is for the closers. I've used that multiple times. It's a really great movie if you're building a sales organization. The interesting next one, this is actually the opposite of this one, which this is how to do it unethically. There was a Ponzi scam. It was a pump and dump of stock scam, but it's a famous movie. It shows you what it means to be a shaker and a mover and how not to get involved with the wrong people. I loved watching the salespeople because although they were unethical, they were the best of the best in sales. And so it's a great movie to kind of just review, understand, and also make sure you know the ethical dilemmas that we come into as business people. So great movie to watch. The next one is Office Space. And I put this in here purposefully because nobody in the world wants to build a business that ends up looking like this. Meaning at the end of your lifetime, you don't wanna go back and go, oh, did you get your TPS reports done? You know, how many pieces of flair? I mean, this is an epic movie that is absolutely in our culture and it's part of our fiber as Americans, but it's also just something that you don't wanna build as an entrepreneur. The next movie is The Founder. I love this story. I love this entire thing. Most people think McDonald's actually sells food, but it's really a real estate company. And this entire story talks specifically about how the founder of McDonald's actually didn't know how to scale. So somebody else came in, 
got it to scale. And then they had a consultant who had a different perspective and it helped them realize that they're really a real estate company. Now, what's interesting about this is most people think the airlines are, help people fly from one location to the other, but they're actually credit card companies. If you look at their balance sheet and their financials, they make most of their money from selling credit cards. And so most really big companies aren't what they seem, meaning McDonald's doesn't sell food. They're a real estate company. Really interesting movie. It's great perspective. Now, I love Moneyball by Brad Pitt. This is an epic movie, especially if you're a sports person and a business person. What's interesting is prior to this, this story, it's a real life story, everybody in sports thought it was the home run or the touchdown that actually mattered. Moneyball came about and they said, no, 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 no. What actually matters, the thing that wins games, the thing that actually makes a difference in a sports organization is singles and doubles. And so the whole entire culture of baseball was how far can I hit? How many home runs do I have? They came in and said, no, 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 it's singles and doubles. And what that matters for business people is you need to know exactly what the most important things are to track inside your business. And you need to sometimes just step back and look differently at your business. So this is a great story and it's actually applicable to business. Okay, so this movie is controversial and I'm gonna talk about it because I think it's important to know what models not to follow. Mark Zuckerberg has never invented anything. He's never built anything. He's actually just copied everything. And it's very interesting because right now they're in the news about all the bad things that Facebook and Instagram are doing to our culture and our kids. And so I think this movie is important because as an entrepreneur, I want you to know that you do not have to sacrifice your soul. You do not have to create evil in the world at the pursuit of revenue and income and profits. There's a way to actually build a business ethically where you can be proud of the end result. So some of the things that he did is he copied his platform. He stole from his best friends. He kicked out the people who actually funded the initial startup and then eventually got sued and had to pay lots of money. It's so interesting because the easy path is to screw others. The harder path, honor your word. And so this movie for me is everything about what not to do as an entrepreneur and how not to be evil and how this is just a good don't do this. Don't be a copycat that screws their friends and doesn't pay their debts. So these are the movies that have been most impactful in my life, meaning I watch them and I've drawn inspiration. I've either learned how to be a leader, innovate, or build something special because of these movies. But there are a lot of movies out there that I didn't mention. So in the comments, name the movie that has been inspirational to you, helped you build something special, and that you look to as a guiding light as an entrepreneur and a business person.